Hello everybody, welcome to another developer log for my game Attica Origins. So in this video we're gonna cover a few things like the gods, uh, shopkeeper, the day-night cycle, and a bunch more. And so I'll kind of show you guys what's up here. There we go, a nice smooth kind of uh, intro I guess. Uh, and so let's start off with a few things. Uh, the day-night cycle I've sped up to like 100x or something like that, just to kind of show you what the day and night will be like. And so I need to, I'll mention more about that in a second here. So this is a template for a shopkeeper. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna put a shopkeeper in the game or not, because I'm actually thinking it might not flow properly with the game. I'll bring that back in a second here, but if you wanted to buy this, no notification pops up, but the item ends up in your inventory here where you can equip it. So it's just quite simple. Uh, we're not gonna do the first quest. We're not gonna kill those deer. Let's just skip by it for a second. Uh, there's some things here that I forgot to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's pick this thing up. This statue here. Yeah, screw it. All right, so I put in... I was just bored. I was just like, what can I put? Uh, I'm not... This isn't going to be in the game. But I'm just like, can I equip anything as a weapon? I just wanted to test how the programming would work for this. And yeah, like you can equip pretty much anything as a weapon. So this is a statue. <laughs> and you can just like beat people up with it. There you go. Um, so I thought that was a little bit funny, actually. Um, anyways, so... Let's just move on here. So I want to talk about the day-night cycle, actually. So I ran into a kind of computer engineering problem. And this level needs work, by the way. I've optimized it. I haven't filled it quite yet. But right now, it's running at 50 frames per second with all of this recording software open. So it's, I optimized it. It's way better now. This part. Then it slows down a little bit in a second. So the I ran into a physics problem where... So there's a light in the sky which is causing all of these shadows. It is not that sun that is moving right now at 100 times the speed it's supposed to. It is kind of a, uh, a movable but relatively static light that is rotating up in the sky that's invisible. And there's this thing called a gimbal lock where you cannot rotate a rotator uh, Essentially, you cannot rotate one axis of a rotator past like 90 degrees without having to rotate the rest of the rotator. It's hard to explain, but I ran into that problem. It took me like an hour just to figure out what the problem was. Hopefully these guys don't attack me. All right. Uh, ho oh, shit. All right. I should have thought this out. Uh, I left these guys here by accident, actually. All right. So now they're dead. That's good. I've leveled up. It's a little bit bright in here, I've noticed that. It's a little bit bright, so I still need to work on the lighting for the day, especially. Uh, it gets a little bit too bright during 12 o'clock where the sun is, so I'll work on that. These cliffs here are gross, and there's no rocks or anything or no trees. I need to fill this up a little bit more. Uh, now, this is a part where you will see a frame rate drop because I have not fixed it, but... Um, we're gonna get to the gods in a second here, so if you don't want any spoilers, then click away right now. Uh, if But they're like... They're medium level spoilers. They're not the biggest spoilers, but they're medium level. And so we're gonna see a frame rate drop here in about a second. So hopefully I'll, that cliff's gonna pop in here into its HD version in about a second. There we go, so now it's back to HD. That's my bad. And now we're gonna, I have not optimized this level yet. I'm going to optimize it, but right now you're gonna see a frame rate to probably below 30, maybe even 25 frames per second. It's gonna drop off a little bit here. And that's my bad, I've not uh, finished this yet. And wow, it's so bright here. It's way too bright. Okay, it's way too bright here for nighttime. So that's again, my bad. That's something I'm going to need to fix. But now we are going to, uh, let's just watch this day night cycle one more time. All right. Oh, beautiful. See the shadows come, why aren't, this level is not lighting properly actually. This is interesting. The level here is not lighting properly. Where are the shadows? All right, the shadows are here. All right, I mean, it is lighting, but it's just not, it's way too bright over here, I guess, because there's no mountain cover or something. So I'm gonna have to work on that. I'll keep you guys posted. So we're gonna go into the spoiler, which is the gods. So I did a little bit of programming on this. I you're gonna get, you guys are gonna see it gonna be like, gross, this is disgusting, this doesn't look great at all. I just wanted to program one of the gods and throw them into the situation that they're supposed to be in and have one of the moves that um, they're going to have in the game. Uh, I can't say much, I don't wanna spoil everything, but... Uh, so, spoilers, this is your last chance, I'm gonna name this god, so spoilers, click away, one, two, three, okay, so Apollo is gonna fall from the sky here. Uh, you're not gonna know it's Apollo, but people are, it's gonna be a little bit obvious. 
Apollo's gonna fall from the sky here, and he's gonna have a dash move that, uh, he, kind of, he goes on fire. And it's gonna look a little bit gross, because I have not, uh, done the full thing for it yet. And so that, that's just a brief cutscene, he's gonna charge at me here. Alright, he went in the, uh... Oh yeah, that's right, because it's a weird thing with the nav mesh. So pretty much, he's trying to come at me here, but there's a few spots here that I need to fix where he cannot walk over. So I think uh, one is kind of over here-ish. One is like over here where he'll be scared to hit you, but um, yeah. So I'm just want him to have a dash move where if he hits you, you get launched a little bit and then you'll have uh, you'll be stunned for a brief period of time. And this does a ton of damage, so if you actually get hit by it three times, I think you die. Because uh, I want you to try to put up a fight against him, but um, you're really, at the end of the day, he's a god, and you're just starting this game. So you're going to have a lot of trouble with him. Uh, anyway, so he's going to he's gonna have that dash move, and it's looking a little weird right now, but I'm working on it. I'm working on the AI for it. I'm going to have him kill me here, so... I'll get launched a little bit, and I'm gonna die. Okay. So again, uh, there's a lot of stuff I need to work on in this game. But for now, uh, that's kind of the update I have. I'm working on a lot of these things here. This level lighting needs to be better. I'm working on it. But those are three big things. I, I really only worked on this for two and a half days this last week, because I'm getting into some other business stuff. But... Yeah, so that's what I have. I have, I worked on Apollo. Apollo's crashing down from the sky. He has some abilities that I'm gonna be working on. Abilities are getting a lot easier for me to program. So, uh, working on the abilities. Shopkeeper, I'm not sure if I'm putting that into the game, but this day-night cycle, I swear. And I, it took me an hour to figure out what was wrong with it. And then it took me a couple hours to figure out a workaround for the gimbal lock. And that's what it's called, the gimbal lock. So, uh, that actually took me like a whole night. And then I op tried to optimize the light a little bit, but it looks a little bit weird right now. Anyways, uh, that's gonna cover this uh, update. I So, again, I, last update I wanted Apollo to be done. I ended up doing the day-night cycle and the very start of Apollo and a little bit of a shopkeeper. So I didn't get what I wanted to get done, but I got done probably a little bit more than I predicted actually in the last week. So, um, and actually, with my other business ventures coming up, I actually might not even need to do a Kickstarter for this game. I might do one anyways, just for PR purposes, but I, if everything goes well, I might not even need a Kickstarter, which is why um, this game progress might slow down a little bit, only for a little bit, and then we'll see what happens. Anyways, um, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. If you have any questions for me, leave a comment down below. For now, that's gonna wrap this video up uh please hit that subscribe button to see more developer logs i try to upload one of these a week so it's you know i do a little bit here a little bit there um programming slowing down a little bit because of all the other stuff i'm doing but hey uh anyways that's all i right, thank you very much for watching you're all very beautiful people uh I'll see you guys in the next video